Well guys, that unit right next to me is the beast of an induction heater. And yes, this thing is capable of inducing nearly 2000 watts of power into the objects that you put inside that coil. So just have a look at how powerful this induction heater is. So for sure this thing is extremely powerful and is capable of getting things red hot within just seconds. And the best part about this induction heater is that this is totally a customized unit that we are going to build in today's video. In order to induce electrical energy into a metal object we need to produce a continuously changing electric field inside the external coil. Since our source of energy is going to be a battery pack which will provide us a DC voltage so to get the job done, I've decided to go with an LC oscillator circuit that uses a combination of capacitors and inductors in order to produce a continuously changing electric field, which therefore will induce the energy into the metal object and heat it up. To operate the oscillator circuit, we need to generate pulses at frequency above 20 kHz and for that we are going to use 4 N-channel MOSFETs. Now there are two possible configurations for this circuit. The one that we are going with is popularly known as the tank circuit where the inductors on each side represents the track and the capacitor represents the body or the turret of the tank. This configuration needs two inductors but the design of the external coil is simple whereas the other configuration offers the coil in two different parts and needs only one inductor. Later I laid the schematic for the whole circuit and to keep everything neat I've decided to build this thing on a customized printed circuit board. Now that might sound complicated but the whole process is a lot more simple and all you need to do is to arrange everything properly. Once the design is finalized the process to order your customized boards is pretty much straightforward. Just head up to jlcpcb.com and there you'll find a step by step tutorial to place your order. And all it takes is to upload your Gerber files and go through a bunch of options and you are done. Now this video is made possible by JLCPCB so make sure to have a look at their website for some great quality products at an outstanding price. All the links to the product will be in the description given below. So guys the boards are finally here and this thing is huge as compared to the previous version of our induction heater. So I'm really excited to build this thing and all we need to do now is to gather all the components and start sorting them on the PCBs. So guys our boards are almost ready and as you can see over here we are going to need a pair of inductors on both sides. For that we are going to use these ferrite cores that I am going to wind by using a 16 gauge enamel copper wire having nearly 22 turns which will help us to get the required frequency for our induction heater. So let's wind these inductors and get them soldered on the boards. Well the boards are almost complete and we have swiped the fan with a more powerful one so that we can blow a lot more air on the MOSFETs to keep them cool. 
Now, in order to complete this whole circuit, we are going to need the induction coil that's going to be built out of this thick 12 gauge enamel copper wire. So, let's straighten this wire up and wind the coil. So guys give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to that as I am going to give away those remaining printed circuit boards from this project in our upcoming project video. So stay tuned for that.